Hello everyone, it's Nady, and today we'll be unboxing this month's Boxy Charm. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products, not the people behind them. Any tiff you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh my little chili churros, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a spectacular day so far. I myself am doing wonderful. I'm really excited to unbox these because not gonna lie, last month's Boxy Charm was kind of awesome. And I really don't know many spoilers for this, but I did have to do like a color matching guide for my skin. So I think we're getting like foundation products. But otherwise, I'd like to keep everything a surprise. This is basically my birthday every month. But let's quick do the spiel. This is a $25 a month at beauty subscription service where each month you get over $100 worth of full size luxury beauty items. And honey, if there's something in here that I don't like, you will be the first to know we are friends here. We're family. Honesty is our only policy. That and safe sex. Although it'd be helpful if you actually had sex. <laughs> Anyways, BoxyCharm does provide the service to me at no charge to review for you. But like I said, I don't sugarcoat anything. We've had a really good string of boxes for the last several months. And over the last few years that I've been doing this, I've gotten like a couple random bad things in a box. But then for the most part, the rest of the box is like amazing. But I do really like the service. Like they've added some really, really amazing products to my collection that I probably wouldn't have been able to afford otherwise. We've gotten things from Fenty, Tarte, Ofra, Benefit, like you name it, it's probably been in here. And then we have the middle tier, which I believe is 35 a month. And this one, what do you get? Like $200 worth of products? I can't quite remember. I'm still kind of newish to even receiving this bigger one and I should probably do my research. But these videos do tend to be a little bit long and in most cases I do prefer it long, but when it comes to this, I am gonna try to keep it short and sweet because I also wanna do a little looky. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hi, future Nady here. Totally forgot to say this before, but if at any point throughout this video or just life in general, you would like to become a Boxy Charmer, Boxy Charm was kind enough to provide me with a link down below for you to use, but please do not feel obligated to go through me. It's there if you want it, I'm just saying. All right, resume shenanigans. I'm gonna start with our little baby box, which oddly enough is actually heavier than the bigger box. So that's fun. All right, let's feel around for the little card. They always have some kind of theme on the card, which really doesn't pertain to anything in here, but bless their souls, they try. Fresh start. I love that color scheme. I wonder if we're gonna get like rosy colored or maybe rose gold things. Ooh. And then on the back is a list of everything that we get in here. I live for the surprise. Like no joke. I fucking love it. So I'm gonna set that there so that I don't see anything and let's dive in. All right. And the first thing we have is a laminated word search for travel. <gasps> no, this is, ooh, a Violet Voss palette. Damn. Do love me some Violet Voss. This is a love you forever. Oh, we love a putty gal. <gasps> Oh, well, okay. We have like literally two greens in a palette that's called Olive. Hmm. It's still very pretty, but I don't understand. It is still quite attractive. I'm very down to fuck with that. But I don't get the name. Like, why not? Uh -huh. I suppose there are different colors of olives other than green. If you've got green packaging, wouldn't you? I, I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. What do we have? A pair of most size knitting needles? No, this looks familiar. Oh, nope. Maybe it doesn't. This is Trust Fund Beauty Lipgasm. Ooh, I like the sounds of that. Can I use it elsewhere? This says, be unapologetically yourself. Be beautiful be ethical. Be open, bitch. What the hell? Okay. Oh, wow. That is a color right there. New year, new me. I guess I could start wearing this. Oh, it's a lip gloss. I don't think it has a smell. Does it? Um, no, no taste either. Wait. Nope, no taste. Wait. Keep tasting something, but I can't tell if it's my toothpaste. No, I don't think that has a flavor or a fragrance, which I kind of like. And I do really like this color. Like this is the typical blush color that I'd wear. So I guess it makes sense to match it to my lips. So I'm excited for that. Then next we have probably a big roll of masking tape. No, this is cute packaging. I don't know what it is though. Oh, it's a pharmacy product. I love this brand so much. This is Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer with what the fuck? God, not a day to not wear my glasses. This has has moringa and papaya. I know what papaya is. Dried papaya shit. Oh my god, that is the tits. This is an oil-free, silicone-free daily moisturizer. Well, what the fuck is in it then? I don't know. The ingredients are too minuscule. But this is a daily moisturizer that delivers lightweight, lasting hydration without feeling greasy. This refreshing formula contains a blend of moringa water, cool, with papaya and willow herb, phytonutrients known to help reduce shine and clear pores and dirt and impurities. It's ideal for combo and oily skin. Well, I 
I have dry ass skin, but I'm still gonna use it. Damn, why are these so hard to open? Okay, well, you know what? I'm probably not gonna actually end up using this today. Make sure you follow me on social media because I love to give skincare updates on my stories there. So follow me for that. Oh, but I did want to smell it. Fuck it, we'll open it. Oh, cool texture. It looks like flubber. Ooh, and it actually smells kind of menthol-y. Oh, I'm really glad we opened that. It kind of also smells like my grandma. You know, like Bengay or maybe denture cream. I'm not sure, but I'm still pumped to use that. Ooh, that made this a bit lighter. Then we have what I could only assume to be a can of spray paint. No, but it's pretty. This is Avant Hyaluronic Marigold Topo Oh, fuck. I'm not reading that. Look at that. Honestly, is it that difficult to use the center thing on Microsoft Word? Like, could they not have cleaned that up? But this is an Age Nutra Revive Biphase Hyaluronic Acid Rejuvenating Micellar Water. Ooh. Let's just give it a whiff. It actually smells like baby powder with, like, a linen candle. Mmm, kind of like a Dove soap bar. I like that. Very fresh, but I'm not a huge fragrance person, but I can fuck with that. Was that it? No, there's still a few things banging around there. Let's get rid of that. And lastly, we finally have that pocket vibrator. No, this is an Apple Plus Balm Glow Lip Mask. Well, that sounds intriguing. Let's try it. Hold on, I got a little bit of lip gloss on. Allegedly, you can boost hydration and glow with this protective lip mask formulated with apricot, jojoba, and rosehip oils that works synergetically to keep lips chap-free, soothed, and plumped at the same time. Made with green apple and pineapple extracts. Oh shit, I'm just gonna squeeze this in my mouth like a fucking go-gurt. Oh, that smells great. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it tastes like that gel shit that you dip like a bottle pop in, but not sweet at all. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. I like that. It's literally just a bunch of oils that you put on your lips. I'm down for that. But when have I ever been picky about putting anything on or in these lips? Well, that concludes that box. Let's go ahead and take a little peeky poo at the sexy little postcard that we got. The Violet Voss All of You Forever eyeshadow palette retails for $34. Not too bad. I thought they were like a more expensive brand. Maybe I'm wrong. Huh, well, they say this palette was designed with universally flattering olives and hues that complement one another flawlessly. Very nice. Then we have the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer, which retails for 38 bucks. And this description is literally what I said before. So moving on to the Avant Skincare. What was that? Oh, this one. $90? What the hell? How many Smurfs do they have to melt to get this? Damn. Then the Lip Mask retails for $25 and the Lip Gasm Gloss retails for $18. If we were to add up everything that we got today, it would be $205. So like $25 for over $200 worth of stuff not too shabby. And honestly, I would use everything in here. It was kind of lacking in the makeup department. This is definitely more skincare, but I don't mind that because I'm a skincare whore. But also, I do really like that palette. I do kind of wish there were more greens in there though. But we'll see what kind of snack we can turn into with that palette. Let's move on to the next box. I think they have the same card. Just a little bit bigger because there's usually more products in here. <gasps> oh my gosh. I may have just seen the word Fenty, which is what I had to take the color test for. That excites me. Ooh, what's this, it feels like a fucking implant. This is a silver infused microfiber makeup removing cloth. I love these things. I have saved so much fucking money by using these instead of makeup cloths. Save the world, save the environment. I should basically be wearing a fucking cape. Ooh, God, that needs wash. That was not a good idea. Smells like a plastic factory. But I do really like these. I always end up getting them at like Home Goods or Marshalls. You can find them really fucking cheap in the checkout lane. And this is literally what all of mine look like. This just came out of the wash. It it is probably time to be thrown away, but you can bet your ass I'll keep using it till I get some kind of infection. Next, what do we have? A box of cotton balls? No, jet lag mask. Ooh, more skincare. You don't have to be a jet setter to have the lag. Really, don't you? Okay. Upgrade your skin to a business class complexion no matter what time your red eyes get in or what time your head hits the pillow. Oh, that's kind of fun. Apply to cleanse skin, leave on for 10 minutes or don't rinse. Well, wait, so do you leave it on for 10 minutes or do you take it off? Well, either way, I'm still gonna use it. That's probably like an $800 cream. Sometimes these boxy charm prices, I cannot believe them. Oh, yay, I think we got a pink glow stick. No, <gasps> ooh, this is Fenty. Full frontal volume lift mascara. Ooh, I just got a sample of this too. I don't know that I've used their mascara. Just from the sample, it seemed very, very clumpy, but oh no, that looks way better than the sample. Yay, I'm stoked for that. I did just try their powder foundation and ended up kind of loving it. Well, not loving it, but it was acceptable. It's like one of the only Fenty products that I've actually 
actually enjoyed lately, but moving on, here's a tube of something. Perfect canvas clean jelly. Ooh, is it lube? Oh, it's an oil cleanser. Oh, is it face wash? Don't judge me, but I fucking love the Paris Hilton face wash that we got in BoxyCharm like years ago. I literally have stocked the fuck up on it. Oh, it's so good. It dries the shit out of my skin, but it cleans it so nicely, and so I just like top it up with all my serums and oils and stuff. But this removes makeup, SPF, and pollution. Gently massage it in, wash it off. Very easy. Sweet, I'm probably actually gonna use that to clean off all my makeup today after I'm done filming. Next, we have probably an alarm clock. No, it's more Fenty. They sent me the shade Butter, which I'm assuming is yellow. Fucking always yellow. Ooh, but that's beautiful packaging. I don't think I've tried this kind of powder, so I'm stoked. It doesn't smell like cake or anything, does it? I don't want to get my nose too close to the powder. I am not at a Hollywood party right now. Ooh, but it comes with a little baby brush too? Nope, that does not look like a brush. Oh, it's a little lid thing so that the powder doesn't go everywhere. That's cool. I am very excited to try that. I think we only have one more product in here. It's probably a mouse pad. No, it's something from Ofra. I love Ofra. Their highlighter, Rodeo Drive, is my all-time favorite. And that is all for that. Let's see what this is. Oh, <gasps> that's cool. Oh my gosh. Ofra's little imprints are just to die for. How do you open this? I'm not sure. Is this like a blush and eyeshadow palette? Oh, it is. It's an all over the face palette. I see like a bronzer, a blush, a highlight, eyeshadows, Cool. Sweet saucy sphincters. What did I do with the little card though? Okay, so the Summer Fridays jet lag mask does not retail for several hundred dollars like I thought. It retails for $48. Very nice. Then the Ofra Cosmetics palette retails for $39. That's actually not that bad for Ofra shit. The Fenty Boutete setting powder retails for $32, which is kind of around the same price of my Laura Mercier, which I love. That is my ride or die bitch. So if this beats that, I don't know, it might have a little competition. Then the Ren Clean Skincare Tube of Clean Jelly oil cleanser, whatever it's called, retails for $32. All right. Then the other Fenty Boutete, the mascara, retails for $24, bucks, ending with the PMD Beauty Silver Pew, what, what is it? Oh, the makeup cloth, retails for $30? Oh, <gasps> no, honey, no, 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 no. Like, this five-pack was literally $10 on Amazon. Any, no, get your shit together. Well, let's go ahead and hop into a little look. I did moisturize my face, so we're all good to prime. I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercy Gay. And then for foundation, I'm gonna going with my all-time favorite, Dior Backstage. This is in the shade 1N. Oh god, this foundation does not like this primer. Fuck. Well, it's a good thing that doesn't really matter for this video. Fork and squealer, I'm gonna take a few drops of my Bare Minerals. And then, let's go ahead and try this Fenty Booty Powder. Oh god, I just shoved it in there. <laughs> oh god. Let's give it its little pop of the cherry shake. Ooh, yes. <gasps> Woo! Wow, okay. It's very, very soft and extremely finely milled. Oh, I like this so far. Let's go ahead and pack a little bit under the eyes to avoid any creasing. Ooh, that looks really nice. I'm not really seeing much color show up, so that's good. Also... This kind of smells like baby powder. Ooh, it's strong. And it's not this thing, it's definitely the powder. Woo! I'm gonna set the rest of my face with just a little bit. Knowing that my foundation and primer didn't really love each other, that actually did a great job. Like, my skin looks good. Oh god, but that smell is so strong. At least for me, but I'm like super hypersensitive when it comes to fragrances. But yeah, I'm curious to keep using this because it does look a little bit dry on my skin, but also it looks very, very pretty and filtered. I kind of like that. I'm not going to say I love it, but I do want to keep trying it. But yeah, it feels so good on my skin. Like everything is so soft. Definitely going to keep this a little bit because I probably wasted like half of this. My room is covered in this now. My bad. Whew. Then to catch any follow from the eyeshadow and to help brighten up under the eyes, I'm going to go in with some Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I'll put it right down there and then we can dust away any fallout that the eyeshadow might have. Ooh. Oh, so much powder. And then to prime the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas. Oh my god, I wanna see this stuff in a boxy charm one day. Like, everybody should know about it. It is so good. Alright, so to start off, let's dippy-dippy into Hwing. Ooh, and this is actually very nicely compacted. There's not a shit ton of fallout or kickback. At least not yet, but let's take that back and forth and use it as a transition shade right along the crease line. That's a pretty color. It's just almost the same color as my eye was, so I can't really see it that great. 
great. So I guess let's go in with something a little bit deeper. Let's try Infatuated right here. And I'm gonna take that pretty much along the same, oh, hi. Okay, all right, so there's the pigment. Give me a minute to just blend this out and see what we're working with. Ooh, it blends out fabulously. Very nice, not at all patchy either. Ooh, I like this so far, lack of greens aside. It seems like a very universal friendly kind of nude palette. Let's also dipped into it Charmed. I'm just gonna tap that on the inner and the outer corner right here. We're just gonna do a simple little halo eye today, nothing too grand. Ooh, that's a pretty shadow too. Let's try a little bit of all of me. I'm just gonna press that right in the center of the eye. It may or may not stick, and I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. Um, no, that doesn't really wanna stick. Hmm, let me try a little bit more. Oh wait, no, if you like really pack this shit on, it does kinda stick. It also isn't like the prettiest right there, so uh, maybe this isn't gonna be halo eye, maybe I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. Otherwise, I'm just gonna look like somebody shat on a martini. I think a little ways in, I'm gonna go in with some all of you to try to brighten this up, like in the first quarter of the eye. Maybe, maybe not. That helped a little bit, but I think I'm gonna have to go in with major spotlight right here. And I'm gonna take that directly on the inner portion of the eye and kind of feather it into that green. There's not like a ton happening, but still it's something, I guess. I think this probably would be best going over something a little bit damp. But still, for going over something dry, it's actually doing a pretty decent job. Yeah, I like that. Cool. It's definitely not my favorite look we've ever done, but it's still a look. And then for the lower lash, I'm just gonna smoke all of these same colors out. You know what? Let's really glam this up with just a teeny tiny pinch of that black. And I'm gonna smoke it in about halfway onto the lower lash and just blend a little bit right here on the outer bit. And then just to add a little bit of flair to this look, I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of this glitter and just tap it in a few spots over that shimmer I put on. And then for an inner corner highlight, I'm gonna dip into this gorgeous Ofra palette in to this little guy right here. Ooh. Ooh, hoo -hoo. yes ma'am. And then just to give a little bit of an extra brow highlight, I like to go in with a NYX Wonder Pencil and just align the base of my brow with it, just like that. And then we can just kind of blend that in with the shadow, but that's gonna help my brow bone pop. And then before we go in with our falsies, let's try this Fenty Mascara. Gonna be real, I won't really be able to judge this that great because I don't really have many lashes. However, this actually is doing a really good job at separating what I do have and kind of defining them. Oh God, there's a big ass just don't know that I love the shape of this wand. Not that I'm a size queen or anything, but it is shaped weird. And it's oddly clumpy. I don't know if anybody else's is like that. Maybe just mine. But other than the shape of the wand and the few clumps, it actually looks to be a pretty decent formula. Let's try on the upper lashes. Oh my god, that is so fucking clumpy. Okay, I, I don't think I like this mascara. It probably works great for somebody who has more lash than I do, but for somebody with sparse lashes, it just kind of looks chunky. I, I don't know what the problem is. I think the biggest thing for me is the wand because it's not circular. I can't like twist it and get the clumps out. It has like a flat shape and then it gets wider. Yeah, I, I don't love that. Oh, that's funny. I just got one of those automated texts from Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin, huh? They're always listening. Ooh, I kind of like this look so far. Oh, the top of my fucking brush came off and now I'm using eyelash glue to re-adhere it. All right, the eyes are done and my face is ever so slightly contoured. Now I want to dip into this Ofra shade right here as a brush bronzer, which might be a little bit too dark. So let's take it very sparingly. I'm just gonna go like that. Uh, let's just tap this on right there. Oh, okay, that's fine. I mean, it is definitely way too dark and I do kind of look sunburnt, but I've also got that little sunny glowy kiss. Then for blush, I think I'm gonna lightly dip into this shade right here. And with blushes, I usually start by tapping them where I'd apply a highlighter and then work them into place. Nothing's happening. Okay, I can see it on my brush now, so let's tap it right there. Oh, that's subtle but it's also very pretty. I think I like that. What do you think? I, I can't tell. Because combined with that darker bronzer, I kind of look sunburned on one side. Ooh, if you kind of like layer it up, it actually is very pretty. I may end up depotting this, which I see this is a magnetic palette, but when I dip in, my brush wants to pick up like everything in here. So this would be good for like a Z palette, definitely. Then let's take a little bit of this kind of golden highlight. And we'll tap that right along the cheekbone right there. Anything? Yes. 
Oh, their highlighters are so beautiful. So are their lip products, like the Gen Loves Review collab that they did. Stunning. And I like that you can either go in very subtly or really build them up. And then for lips, I'm sorry, I'm not going to use that Samini lip gloss. That'll be for a different day. Instead, I'm going to go in with Ofra's Revive and Refine, which I'm then going to finish off with some Gerard Cosmetics Mud Slide. And here we are with our final look. I actually really like it. I can't tell that there's like any green on my eyes. It definitely looks more gold, but I still really like this. And for the most part, it was pretty simple. Probably not like an everyday kind of look, but for me, I guess it is. But these boxes, I think the only product in here that I truly did not like was this Fenty Mascara. I think the formula is probably good. It's more so the wand that I don't like, but that is also part of the product. If I do continue using this, I'll probably just end up dipping my own spoolie in it because it seemed pretty black and it did a good job at separating my lashes, but it was also kind of on the clumpy side too, so not in love with this. Also, the little locking cap does not lock, like it won't stay closed, and that might be why it was so clumpy. Maybe some air got into it. I don't know. But the powder I really liked, the eyeshadow palette I really liked, the Ofra palette I loved. So after I do these unboxings, I always try to think if I were an actual paying customer, would I be satisfied? And I do think I would be satisfied. If I weren't a skincare lover, I don't know that I'd be too happy with the first box because it was very skincare based, but I personally do really like skincare, so it's not that big of an issue. And for the second box, I do think I'd be a happy customer with that too. I didn't love this, but I feel like there were so many other good things in that box that this is kind of canceled out. Plus, you never know. Some people may have gotten a perfectly fine one, so I hope you did if you got that. But yes, like I said before, if you would like to become a boxy charmer, please feel free to use the link down below, but never feel obligated to go through me. It's there if you want it, and I'm so appreciative to anybody who does. Like, big thank you. Otherwise, there you go. Thank you so much for being here. I love having you. And if you'd like to support me and my channel a little bit more, please feel free to join us over on Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. There you get videos a day early, you get Patreon only content, plus best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy just like me. And like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplux.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.